Unit 1, Lesson 2. This is a photo of my family in New Zealand. Families in New Zealand are usually small. I have one sister, Claire. She's 11. The other child in the photo is my cousin, Matthew. He's seven. He's an only child. He doesn't have any brothers or sisters. This is my dad, Wayne, and my mom, Shirley. These are my grandparents, George and Rose. They have two sons, my father and his brother, John. This is his wife. Her name is Nicola. Unit 1 Lesson 7 One day, a scorpion is walking by a river. He wants to cross the river. The scorpion meets a frog and asks, Can you help me cross the river? The frog says, No, sorry, I don't want to help you because you sting frogs. The scorpion says, Don't worry, I won't sting you because I can't swim. The frog agrees to help the scorpion, so the scorpion climbs on his back. But when the frog swims into the middle of the river, the scorpion stings the frog. The frog is very surprised and says, Ow! Why did you do that? Now we are both dead. The scorpion replies, I'm sorry, it's what I do. I can't help myself. Unit 2 Lesson 2 What type of house do you live in? It's a modern house. It's a very nice house and it's very comfortable. It's big. My bedroom's on the second floor. It's painted blue. Do you like living there? Yes, I do. It was built five years ago and it's made of blocks. It's cool in the summer. Are there any disadvantages? Yes, of course. My dad says it's very expensive and sometimes there's no electricity. Who lives at your house? I live with my parents, grandparents and six brothers. It's a big house. Unit 2 Lesson 5 Technology in our houses is very important. It can make our lives much easier. Fridges keep our food cool and fresh so we don't have to go shopping so often. We can wash our clothes in a washing machine and use an electric iron so they look nice. We can use a cooker or a microwave to cook our food. Food cooked in a microwave is quicker but food cooked on a cooker tastes better. My favorite piece of technology in my home is a mixer. It's made of metal, plastic and glass. It has a jug. The jug catches the juice. It's used to mix fruit or make it smaller. I use it every day. I put oranges in it and make orange juice. Unit 3 Lesson 6 My name is Aisha and I'm 15 years old. I go to an unusual school in my village. We sit under a tree to learn. Our teacher comes to the village to teach us. We don't have a school building with classrooms. There's a blackboard and we learn maths, history, geography, and other subjects too. When I was little, we didn't have a school in my village, but now we do. 
I like studying at school, and I'm very happy now. Unit three. Lesson one. Hi, my name's Tim, and I'm from New Zealand. We usually start school at nine o'clock in the morning, and finish at half past three in the afternoon. There is no school on Saturday and Sunday. We have both boys and girls in our classes. We have lots of different subjects, like maths, English, and science. My favorite lesson is PE because we play sports. My favorite sport is cricket, but I don't play against the girls. Unit four. Lesson six. This is my bedroom. Wow, you've got your own computer. It's not mine. It's my dad's, but I can use it. What do you use it for? I do my homework. I play games, and I surf the internet. <laughs> you surf? What does surf the internet mean? It means looking for information. How long do you spend on the internet? Oh, I spend about three hours a day on it. I think you shouldn't spend that much time. It's not good for you. Unit five. Lesson two. Malala Yousafzai is from Pakistan. When she was fifteen, she was on a bus going home from school when some men attacked and shot her. These men were angry that she was at school. They thought girls shouldn't have an education, but Malala didn't agree. She said, "One child, one teacher, one book, one pen." Can change the world. Malala thinks all girls should get an education. When she was seventeen, Malala won the Nobel Peace Prize. She is the youngest person to win the prize. Unit five. Lesson five. Hi, my name's Fatma. And my role model is my mother. We have a large family. My mother has nine children. She looks after all of us and is always there to help us. My name is Montasir. My grandfather is my role model. He was born blind, but he never let that stop him. He was a teacher in a village school. I think he's amazing. I'm Huda. And I'm twelve. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher, like my role model. Her name is Sarah, and she is always smiling and happy. Unit six. Lesson one. Hi, I'm Nafisa, and my favorite hobby is making jewelry. I have lots of beads in a box. They are different colors and different sizes. Then I use string to make the jewelry. My name's Habib, and I'm learning the Sagria dance. It is difficult to learn, but I want to be as good as my uncle. He does the dance really well. I'm Rana, and I love acting with my friends. I have lessons after school. We want to do a play, but I don't like acting in front of lots of people. What should I do? Hi, I'm Jalal, and I like reading. I love reading about the past, and I have a great book of Sudanese stories. One day, I want to be a writer and tell my own stories.
Unit 6 Lesson 7 I love Sudanese music. It sounds really beautiful. I think my favorite instruments are the rig and tabla. They look easy to play, but I don't think they are. The oud looks like a guitar, but instruments with strings are always difficult to play. My sister Claire plays the guitar, but she's not very good at it. Unit 7 Lesson 4 Wow! It's amazing, isn't it? Yes, it's fantastic. Mmm, I like the singing, don't you? Not really. I'm not very good at singing. What about you? <laughs> not really, but I enjoy it anyway. I'm feeling hungry. I'm going to get myself some kofta. More kofta? Yes, do you want some? No thanks. I'm watching the fireworks. They're great, aren't they? Yes, Independence Day is my favorite celebration. Unit 7 Lesson 6 This wedding is fantastic! There are lots of people and everyone is having fun. I'm glad you like it. Yes, and there's lots of food. Would you like some more kisra? Yes, please. It's delicious. Here. Yum. Thanks. Oh, what's that? What? There are some drawings on the bride's hands. Oh. Before the wedding, they draw patterns on her hands and feet with henna. It's very beautiful. What are they wearing? The groom is wearing a jalabiya. It's Sudanese clothing. Some brides wear a white dress, but this bride is wearing red and gold.